template on top of the glue up. All right. I'm good down here. Now we use the same template to make sure that we had put those dominoes to do the joints right. so inside the inside, right. So now we'll lay it out. And you're gonna use a jigsaw to cut it again, right? But we're gonna leave it away a little bit from the line. All right, now we're gonna put the template back on and get it aligned again. Right on the line right there. All right, and clamp it in place. Now here's the router with the bit, and it's a straight cutting bit. It has a ball bearing on each end. This one's gonna ride against the template and we'll be able to make the edge nice and smooth. All right, now when we route it, we wanna go counterclockwise because of the way the blade turns, we're going to make sure it's tight to the template, giving us the smooth cut. So right now we're looking at the top, and this is the top of the table, and this will be the bottom edge. And you can see it kind of has a sharp edge, so we want to ease that, and we want to get this profile right here. And to do that, we use this bit. You can see the bearing rides along the edge of the table, so we don't need the template right now. We just use the actual piece. Okay, that takes care of the bottom edge. Now we got to flip it over and just do a little round over on the top edge. All right, sounds good. So we made two templates to make the notches where the legs will attach to the top. One for the long end and one for the middle of the table. I'm going to cut out part of the notch that we need with the jigsaw. Okay, next thing we'll do is we'll clean the rest of it out with the straight cutting bit. Now finish this off, these rounded edges, using a Japanese saw. All right, well, I'm going to start sanding this top, and Jeff, you want to start working on the legs? Yeah, I'll get to it. All right, sounds good. All right, so we have a leg stock here, cut to length, and we made it out of two pieces of inch and a half stock. We glued them together, and we've got a three by three leg. So next thing we have to do is dado out an inch and a half here and an inch and a half here to accept our two shelves. So we've added this extension piece on the back of our fence so that when the blade passes through the material, it doesn't blow out the backside. So this is the top of the leg, and it's gonna sit above the shelf. So what we wanna do is put a little bit of a chamfer all the way around on all four sides. We're gonna do that, we set up a stop block in the chop saw, and we'll cut these one right after another. All right, so there's the chamfer on all four sides. And then the last thing we've got to do is we've got a little bit of a detail at the bottom of the leg. And we're going to cut that on the sander. All 
All right, so there's the three cove details on the legs. Okay, here comes the bottom shelf, and we made this the exact same way we made the top. Now we have to start thinking about how we're going to put it together. So we're going to use a lot of these dominoes, and we've already taken the time to do all the cuts. We want to start with the stretchers. We're going to glue the dominoes into the, each end of these stretches to start. How do you like that? That's <laughs> awesome. It looks great. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.